What the f*** is noise music? Noise music is simply any and every sound that wiggles through the air and tickles your delectable eardrums. What's the difference between sound, noise, and music? Sound is the physical vibration which we feel and let inside our bodies. Music is an order of sound vibrated in a certain way that pleases our brains and sometimes our booties. Noise is everything else in between. Noise can be the sound of a delicate butterfly fluttering carelessly through the wind, or the hustle and bustle of an inner city street, or even the vibrations that exist outside our human perception. Music has a distinct structure which follows rules set by mathematical order to make sense of the world. Noise music is a giant fuck you to that system. Whether this is your first time hearing about noise music, or you bow to Mersbo. <laughs> and your mouth salivates at the band Smegma. <laughs> Noise music has a long, expansive history, only most recently recorded in the past 100 years. The year is 1912. Italian hipsters were getting massive boners thinking about the future. They created a movement called Futurism, in which all their artwork focused on technology and the industrialization of then-modern living. Basically a bunch of wuxi paintings. This however changed when Italian futurist Luigi Russolo wrote The Art of Noises in 1913, in which Luigi claimed the industrial revolution will pave the way for future musicians to create any sound and timbre imaginable. Luigi later invented this machine known as Intu Narumori, which was basically the first giant acoustic drum machine. In 1917, Luigi unleashed his machine in Milan with a concert titled Gran Concerto Futuristico. The audience loved it so much, they threw rotten vegetables at him and destroyed his machine. Just kidding, the Germans destroyed his machine when they bombed France during World War II. Later, in 1922, Arseny Avra Amov, a Russian composer, wrote and performed Symphonia Gurkov, also known as Symphony of Factory Sirens, which was basically a Russian Major League Gaming Trap remix only over 90 years ago. The piece involved Navy ship sirens and whistles, bus and car horns, factory sirens, cannons, the fog horns of the entire Soviet flotilla, which is like a tortilla, but only it floats in the Caspian Sea, artillery guns, machine guns, hydro airplanes, and a specifically designed whistle main, accompanied by Internationale and Marcel Sells Ice by a mass band and choir. The piece was conducted by a team of conductors using flags and pistols. Let me emphasize this. It was performed twice. The second performance didn't go so well, apparently. Later, in 1936, in France, the composer and electro-stimulation enthusiast Edgard Varese had a little too much wine and baguettes one evening and accidentally knocked up a record player by playing vinyl records backwards and at various speeds. This is how Edgard became the father of modern electronic music. His Frankenstein monster child was later passed on to French composer and theoretician Pierre Schaeffer. In 1949, Pierre went public with his newfound child, which he named Musique Concrete, which we all know is French for concrete music. Concrete music was the first ever acoustic electric music, which used pre-recorded samples on gramophones and tapes being physically manipulated to create otherworldly, never-before-heard sounds. Pierre described concrete music as the plastifying of music and believed this would evolve into musicians sculpting sound a particular way using existing noise. Concrete music is also Vaporwave's grandparent. Later in 1952, American radical rebel bad boy composer John Cage unleashed his meta meme 433, in which a piano player is instructed to sit at a piano for 4 minutes and 33 seconds, and the noise of the audience became the piece. The audience marveled at such a bold statement, which changed music forever. Just kidding, the audience thought it was boring and dumb and literally walked out the last few minutes of the piece. During the 1960s, the privileged American youth with their cheap college, nice economy, Vietnams and LSDs started making weird pop music using miscellaneous sounds, some of which appearing in mainstream radio. 
When the Beatles began doing tape experimentation and overdub feedback, you bet your sweet ass all these other musicians started memeing them right away. This of course led the jazz generation to declare what they were doing wasn't real music. Unfortunately, the jazz generation died alone in a retirement home. Its ghost still hangs out every so often, hidden in electric currents. This has been the first part of a short series on the history of noise music. In the next part, I'll elaborate on what happened to noise music in the next 40 years, as the way humans distributed music began changing. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Frank Jabsi. Here's the part of the video where I ask you, the viewer, to support a sponsored content or commercial deal or even a Patreon, but I don't have any of those. So if you want to get real DIY public access punk aesthetic, with me, you can give me money at my band camp. You can download my mixtapes and all my delicious material there. So thank you for watching. I, I don't. I, I am a true guy. Everything you see in my movies is truly what I like, and they are all truly done because. I essentially have a massive boner to make them. I essentially have a massive boner to make them. I, I essentially have a massive boner. I essentially have a massive boner. I essentially have a massive boner. I essentially have a massive boner to make them. So, so I essentially have a massive boner. I essentially have a massive boner. I essentially have a massive boner to make them. So, in that sense, I am a genuine guy, a true. Guy, I essentially have a massive boner. 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 Yeah.